all you boys and girls. Welcome to Let's Go Fishing with me, your host, John the Fisherman. Let me take a minute to introduce myself. You see, despite this getup, I am not one of the harvesters of the sea. The catch I'm looking for is usernames and passwords. Credentials, that is. You see, I fish with a PH. And today, we're going to talk about how I do my work. As a fisherman, there are a couple of things that I like to do. One, I like you to download malware on your device. Now that malware might send me your private info, or it might let me access your device, or it might just destroy your data if you don't pay me. That one's called ransomware, and it's my favorite. Kind of depends on you, my victim. The other thing that I like, of course, is usernames and passwords. Now, there are a couple things I can do with your username and password. I can sell it, but just alone, that's not worth a lot of money. What I'm betting is you reuse the same password over and over and over. That way, if I get your gaming network password, I bet you use that password at your bank or your school or at work. John, you ask, how exactly does one fish? And that's a good question. My instrument of choice is the email. You see, everybody has an email, your mom, your teacher, probably your neighbor's dog, so that makes it for a nice big pool of victims. Phishing happens when I send you an email to try and get you to do something you probably shouldn't do, like click on something or download a link. If email is the fishing rod, then spoofing is the bait on my rod. Spoofing is when I get my email to make it look like it came from somebody you trust, like your teacher, or from a bank, or from an energy company. Here's a good example of a phishing email. If you don't look closely, it looks pretty good. Email header has the company name, has the logo, and even the font looks right. A closer look reveals some problems. The sender email doesn't really look right. Next, it's demanding urgent action. Finally, look at the bottom left-hand corner when you hover over the links. That is definitely not the right link to this company. Also, all of the links in the email are the same. When a fisher sends an email that looks like it's from a vendor, it's called clone phishing. There are a couple of things that you, the user, do that make my job as a fisherman that much harder. Number one, multi-factor authentication. This is when logging on to a website or an app requires more than just a username and password. You need an SMS code or a biometric feature like your fingerprint. Number two, up-to-date patching. You know all those annoying notifications you get on your phone and your computer about updating it? Well, guess what? Those patches fix the holes that I use to get into your system. Number three, antivirus. I hate it. It stops my malware in its tracks. Number four, people that don't click on the links that I send in my email. I need you to click on the link in order for my scam to work. If you type in the address of your bank or your social media account up in the address bar, my scam falls apart. And finally, people that pay attention to the information in the email header. The header of the email is, has the information about who the sender is. The people that look at the header of the emails I send notice pretty quickly that is not who it says it from. Again, my scam falls apart. Well kids, that's the end of the show. Storm's brewing up. Best be heading back into shore.